Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for clicking the video. It means a lot to you guys keep looking. If you guys keep looking, I'll keep making. And today we have, we're recapping. I mean, this this episode was insane. There was so much to go on, especially like this back half of the episode. Some of the best gameplay that we've seen all season. Arguably the best episode that we've seen all season. And for a season that I have many critiques, there's not really much to critique in this episode. Um, there's tons that, that, that went on. So let's just get right into it. Before we start, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff because it's free, it's easy, and it really helps the channel out. So we open up uh, coming back from Tribal from where High is blindsided. And High is, High is blindsided is really where this game starts, right? You know, this big blindsides. Because before that, it was Chanel going and Tori going and Roxroy going. Very obvious boots. Um, but the High blindside was the first big blindside. To me, still kind of boring, but I can understand why it does kickstart the game. Um, because Mike comes back and he's talking about how, how High was this very, really oppressive force in the game. And, and how, you know, obviously Omar's lies worked on Mike because Mike was really convinced that High thought that Mike was his puppet, which is probably true, but High never said that. Uh, you know, Mike's Mike's saying, finally, High's gone. Like, uh, he, he wanted to control me, but now I have full control. And it's obvious that Mike is now trying to play the game a lot more aggressively, as we'll see in later scenes. We also see Romeo and M Marianne talking about how the threats are now going to, to be targeted and the people on the bottom in Romeo and Marianne are now going to be more safe because the threats are going to go out one by one by one. And they are very, very right about that assumption. We then see a meeting between five players, everyone except Rock Troy and Marianne. Uh, and so it seems to me that this five at first glance could just run the next two rounds. In fact, that's what Mike proposes to everyone. And everyone says that they're all in. Mike says, guys, 100%, it's us five, you know, and, and then after that, we, we can duke it out. He's pleading to Drea and Jonathan and Omar uh, and, and Lindsay, hey, please guys, please stick to this final five. But then it cuts to Mike basically going to Omar and then immediately saying, okay, great. Now that Drea is convinced that that's the plan, we can now go after Drea for a big blind side. And it shows that Mike is really playing the game. I mean, before this, Mike didn't even want to lie. Um, but now he, he wants to play the game super hard and blindside people and blah, 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 which is, I think it's good. I don't, I don't think it necessarily fits Mike's archetype or the way that Mike's our, our archetype can win the game, but it's very fun to watch from a TV watcher perspective. After this, after this, we get a confessional from Omar talking about Mike's aggressive gameplay, saying that Mike has now turned into what he says High was, which is this oppressive force that always wants his way strategically and is always trying to blindside somebody and causing havoc. It seems that Mike has kind of turned into that, which I, I guess Omar isn't wrong. I personally don't see a problem with it, uh, as long as Mike doesn't become domineering like a Rock Troy or a High figure in the game, or a Drea for, for that matter, as we'll see what happens to Drea later in, in this episode. And to be clear, the plan that Mike has is to tell Drea that the five of them are voting for Romeo uh, and that the rest of them will actually, in reality, vote for Drea, making it a four to one to whatever Marianne and Romeo vote, hypothetically. In the next scene, we see Jonathan kind of explain to us that this lack of food has really taken a toll on, on him specifically because he needs more calories than everybody else. And we see a great example where he kind of gets hangry and kind of snaps at Drea in a way. But then again, Drea also does escalate the situation. Um, but it just shows that like Jonathan is not at 100% at all right now. And he's definitely running on fumes. Uh, he tells us that he wants to be the pr provider, but he wants to be appreciated for being that role. And obviously with Drea snapping at him for being hangry, he feels like he's not being appreciated for that role and therefore just doesn't want to do it. Uh, we, we see him kind of just sleeping in the shelter for hours on end and makes him tired to even just get up out of the shelter. So it seems like it's very tough on Jonathan in the elements and it shows because people take this hangriness and turn it into a like the downfall of Jonathan arc thing and use that to try and target Jonathan, which is what Drea does. Drea originally, Drea and Lindsay both agree that targeting Jonathan could be a great idea for a blind side. At the challenge, we see a return of this do or die twist from last season that sent Liana home and almost sent Deshaun home, in which the first person to drop out from the immunity challenge will play a game of chance. And if they don't survive, they're out 100% no vote. Or if they survive, then we have our regular vote in which that person is immune from the vote. Uh, we see that five people opt out of the challenge to, to avoid this risk. And Lindsay, who later says that her competitive nature got the, the best of her, 
opts in. And of course, the other person that opts in is Jonathan, the challenge beast. And so Lindsay is up against Jonathan. It's almost impossible. She fights really, really hard. It's the same challenge that that, that Kristen w was on the, the pole for against Alec and eventually won. It, it's that one where you're on a pole and you have to kind of hold on to the bars but, but behind your head. Jonathan eventually wins a very intense challenge, leaving Lindsay to compete in the do or die kind of kind of game of chance like pick a door game uh which ends up being a blessing in disguise for Lindsay because spoiler alert at tribal Lindsay wins the game so everything that i'm about to talk about with the strategy does matter and there is a vote coming up at tribal when we get back from the challenge we see Lindsay very emotional again saying what i said earlier that that she wishes that she didn't compete and that her competitive nature got the best of her andrea and marianne kind of comfort her although Although we see in confessional that Marianne says that although she is comforting Lindsay, she hopes that Lindsay goes home to avoid being vulnerable at the, the vote tonight. And so it's definitely a double edged sword. It would also favor Drea to get Lindsay out because then Drea is the only person with an amulet left and now she, she has a full blown idol. We then cut to a scene with Drea and Mike walking and Mike's just saying, listen, like Romeo's the easy boot, blah, 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 and Dre's eating it up. And then and we, we, we cut to Mike saying that Romeo is the decoy boot, but the real target is Drea. He goes to every single person and tries to con convince them to go for Drea and it seems like it's working. Then we cut to Omar who tells us that he does agree along with many other people. I mean, we, we saw Marianne say that she agrees that Dre is a big threat. We saw Romeo say that Dre is a big threat. And now we see that Omar agrees that Dre is a big threat and a possible blindside candidate. But Mike is such a gigantic threat right now because of how aggressive he's playing and how likable he is and that he could win the game. And so Omar says, says that he, he wants to go after Mike at this tribal. We then see Omar go, go to Drea and kind of talk about his idea of what's going to go on at tribal tonight. And Drea breaks and she tells Omar about her advantage and the fact that she's she's going to take the idol from Mike, which now in her mind confirms that, that they can go after Mike as a blindside candidate she is super elated that this is the case and omar takes this info and as we'll see later at tribal through, through a flashback tells mike and mike is able to give his idol to omar before tribal so that at tribal when drea asks mike if he has the idol mike can say no uh, and at tribal drea does this she asks him he says no lindsay wins her game of chance and there is a vote drea is blindsided and i what i believe was a five to three vote because drea put two votes on mike she used her, her extra vote i think the only uh, other person to vote with drea i would guess would be like maybe like oh oh not omar because he, he was in, in on the blind side i don't know but someone in the comments can let me know speaking of the comments did you, you like this episode did you hate it tell me in the comments as always nothing of this happens without you guys without you guys i'm just a weird guy spinning a weird microphone so as always thank you and if that's it i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace